In the Keys, many of the different species of fish that we catch relate directly to where we are in relation to the coral reef. If you think of the reef line as a series of underwater islands that parallel the coastline of the Keys, you'll see places where this reef actually is very shallow in areas, and some of these patches we call shoals, uh, other places we call dry rocks. These shallow patches of coral are where the reef is closest to, to the surface, more sunlight, lots of wash of water, so the reef is very prolific in these areas and it becomes a haven to a lot of the smaller yellowtails and some of the predatory fish like the resident barracudas that live there. Uh, but it's also a place where some of the migratory schools of bait fish like the ballyhoos use as a sanctuary. Slightly south of those dry rocks is a, an area we call the transition zone. It's an area between 30 feet and 50 feet deep where the coral is not quite as prolific and there's big white sand spots in between the, the coral ledges. And these are the places where we'll target a lot of the bottom fish, especially the snappers. Mutton snappers and mangrove snappers use these white sand streaks in between the coral as spawning areas at certain times of the year. Slightly deeper from that transitory zone is a place we call the ledge. It's actually the place where that 50 foot to 60 foot depth rolls off and drops down all the way down to 120 feet. Fish like the cerro mackerel, the kingfish, uh, and even the wahoos use this ledge not only because of its close proximity to the dry rocks and the amount of food that's there, but also because they use it as a highway to get from one migratory spot to another. Deeper still from where that ledge bottoms out, uh, that 100 to 200 foot depth is where we'll target a lot of the more oceanic type of fish, the blackfin tunas and the sailfish. And finally, the deepest edges off the reef from that 200 to 600 foot depth are where the dolphin are. So a fisherman can really target what species of fish he wants to catch by where he spends his time in relation to the coral reef.